Hey there, everyone. This is Vongers. No, this is Alcal playing Vongers. There's a little bit of a difference there. Tallest number is here, little guy. So, yeah, I'm in Podish. I need to go and see Zipa to see if she had any reaction to me uh, giving a little voyage to her little buddy. And yeah, we got these. So, a little remembering about what it is that I'm doing here. I was kind of without really any direction for a little bit. I need to see something. Yeah, my luck is really high, but my dominance is not. So, here's, uh, yeah, where my mind is at. So the reason I've been doing this, because in this game, when you do task, then it upgrades the level of task that you can do, right? Like, this is nothing new. This is how it's been for a little bit. You do things, and then, you know, you know, I did something for a boss, it became happy, and then it offered me taboo tasks. You know, it's like how you you performed into the local event, and they were happy, and they give you the means to go to the next world. It's very transactional, uh, how relationships go. So I figured, okay, so if when I complete a task, then probably that's going to open up the next step, and that is accurate. It did open up a next step, namely uh, the passengers. So, all right, so I did that. I gave passages, but basically I did the passenger missions. However, that did not immediately open up anything new. So I went out of my way, and I did a passenger weapon for everyone. I'm... I was rewarded with a password, a fame lod, although I do not know what to do with that. Uh, so I guess the next step is now is like is to wonder what to do with that. Um, video games exist. Accurate. Nothing you can do about it. But um, so my hope is that when I go see Zipa, she's going to sort of like unlock my next. A little bit of knowledge with where I'm expected to go or what to do. Uh, now, luck has been instrumental in like opening things, so it's possible that maybe on Explo I have access to something that I didn't have before that I now be able to open. It's not impossible because my luck is now pretty high. But here's the thing, so as you know, someone has been kind of nudging me, right, on, on, on Discord a little bit, because especially at the beginning, they kind of stop now, which is, you know, fair enough, now that I have the basics of the game more or less understood. Uh, so, and uh, I appreciate that. But one of the last things they told me, basically, before saying, alright, hands off now, figure it out, figure the rest out, you got the basics, is that... Um, my next step should be to accumulate dominance, which is still low. And I've been wondering why, like, what does that mean? Like, what does that mean for me? But that did lead me to think, um, remember when I gave a ride to Boobowitz? Like, that was a thing. And, um, that was a great thing full of joy but more importantly I remember that gave me 35 extra dominance right and then when I let him go I lost 50 but but beside that I like I lost more than I gained but beside that uh, when I was at a high dominance I remember noticing something on the map oh I got a lot of stuff on me suddenly <laughs> and that is that sometimes on the map, there were little wandering squares. And, you know, I kind of put it off as being a... a Bubowitz sort of like thing, you know? It's just, you know, it's what he does. He gives you squares on the map. Wow, squares, I love those. But what if that is the effect of high dominance? That's not impossible. But then, like, it's like, okay, what do I do with that knowledge, though? Like, I, I, I didn't really have had the chance to 
explore the true meanings of those squares. I remember they were on a map, like, I could physically go drive over them, and nothing would happen. So, I mean, that's the next thing I have to explore, I feel like, but like I said, uh, I need... If that is true, then I need to, like, double my power or something. Like, uh, my, my dominance, I should say. I'm not too sure how to do that yet. I'm going to be real. Anyway, I'm gonna go and sell off a bunch of stuff I found. Bang, we're looking at your Rubai. I'll conclude that your push is higher than it has ever been. We favor agents like you. I'm gonna tell you top secret information. Okay, that's new. Cart is a spare part of Sandal. Okay. Something just happened. Cart is a spare part of Sandal. Sa There's a warp to Sandal. I remember seeing passage to Sandal. Our agent risked their lives to secure this data, so don't betray our trust in you and tell this secret to the sapless worlds. Cart, will you let me go to Sandal? To the bureau, observing a vanguard with extraordinary push, according to the manual, has access to security level two archives. Burrowick is acquainting the subject with the materials. The non-disclosure agreement was not signed due to the illiteracy of the subject. Vanguard, listen to me. Put put is a spare part of last Magi. Prove that you are out of place in the text because this game's ah. Put put is a spare part of last Magi. All right, sure. Okay. Um, but I feel like I'm missing info here. Are you gonna let me go to Sandal? Like, I feel like I should try at this point. This is my money post-selling everything. Well, I don't know. Like, what do you have? Do you have it? Like, I could get rigs, right? But those fall off of things all the time. So I'm like, eh. Yeah, I could a rig. Last Moggy. So if I find a putt putt, it's for the last Moggy. Yeah, do you have uh, anything new to tell me? Since uh, ooh, this was so impressed with me. <laughs> no, you don't got nothing. Weird. So you're still on that, so I feel like I, uh, man, I need to like wait a thing or something. I feel like, so like you're out of that mood, or there's just nothing. Alright, so that means though that, um, Sandal would be, uh, man, there's a lot of junk in these things now. Wait, I can press the open button and make that rock lift? Weird. Okay. Like, I'm probably not gonna be able to enter it just because they mention it, but I feel like, I don't know, man, at this point, I'm... I'm not sure what to do, so at least, at least it's something? Whoa! So I just made that rock open up with the open button. Which is super weird. <sighs> Welcome to Explo. That's a truck. This place. Real. I don't know, man. I don't. I I remember seeing the thing to the thing. Clearly, I don't remember where though. I got dominance, and then I tripped into the portal. It's pretty good. What up with the dominance? Because I found this, Incarnator. 
Special Vanguard's weapon deactivated. Does it go here? Does it go here? Hey. But it's deactivated. Okay. I just threw it out, and now it's there. I can put it back. Uh, huh. Incarnator. I think I threw it at him. Like what, is it like a mine, or...? It's hard to tell. I can take the okay, I think I just took it back, but... Alright, and now I'm underground somewhere. It's pretty good. Um... Yeah, okay, okay, I'm surfacing. Woohoo! Spinning around! Lots of fun! It's the best. Okay, well I just opened that up. I don't know what that is. It's pulsating. And I keep getting spun around by idiots. Oh Jesus! Box! <laughs> I found a box! But yeah, like, if the truth is, now I'm just kinda stuck until my power rises to 50. Like, how do I accomplish that other than just randomly fighting idiots everywhere? Like, that just seems like a bad time? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me, but I don't see what else. Like, how do you rise dominance otherwise? Go in the door! Jesus hell! Just go in! <laughs> Incarnator. I, I don't know what that does. I mean, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna sell it. You take a lot of space. Does the box go in the last Moggy? No, wait, you gotta open up the 3D model. It does! Alright, and the other one's a putt putt. <sighs> wait. Wait, I can just take it? Wait. Wait, I can just... No, it says broken. It says that with everyone, like the Worm Master. I can do that. Yeah, it says broken. It still says broken. Like, if I do autofill and I do that... Yeah, like, it's broken. Well, it's one piece lead broken at the very least. But yeah, like, so, okay, if the next step is to gain more dominance, like, I just don't see how you do that other than randomly picking fights, which just seems kind of eh. But I'm not, I'm not sure how else to gain dominance. So, because, like, like, if we go outside, because I just say, like, it's fine. Like, 26 is a lot to make out and make up for. And, uh, uh, if that's really, like, I need to, I want to solve the mystery of the yellow squares, but... Uh, man, I don't want to just fight guys.
Because it's not just fighting. You need to kill. Uh, do I have a choice, though? I don't know. 